Hi you guys! Welcome to October. Today is the first of the month, which means we are going to be discussing our plans for the upcoming month. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys know, we sort of struggle with this. Um, I think last month's plans video went completely awry for me. For you, yeah. And how did that go with your... I didn't make any of those You didn't things. make any of those things. I did use the Paisley Peach Skin mm -hmm. Fabric for a dress that I can't show you guys yet because it's, it's really in association cute. with a collaboration that we're doing that's coming out really anytime now. So mm -hmm. keep your eyes peeled for that. So I did sew a lot. Um, I just didn't sew any of those things. I sewed every single day of my sewcation that I had and ended up with eight new garments wow. that I added to my closet. That's awesome. So I did pretty good. I did two out of three again. The first okay. month we did this, it was two out of three. This month was two out of three again. Which were the two? I'm trying to think. <laughs> the bird, I made the bird oh, top uh -huh, with uh -huh. that bird fabric. What remember. else did I make? The purple with the birds? The purple birds. Yeah. I made the purple birds. Which one did I not make? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know which one I did not make. Okay. But both birds. Both birds got sewn up. Well, that's lovely. Yeah. So I am feeling pretty good about this month's plans, except for the fact that I have a, um, I don't own any of the patterns or fabric yet. <laughs> that sounds positive. <laughs> so there's that, but I am really excited about them. So I feel like usually whenever I'm like really anticipating mm -hmm. something, then um, it gets done. So the first one that I have in my mind is a suede dress. Um, Style Maker Fabrics got a ton of colors of this really awesome suede that she describes as like twill weight. Mm -hmm. And while that was happening, Merrick's Art, which you might know her blog, um, she was at New York Fashion Week wearing a suede dress that I thought was really cute. And honestly, I thought she had purchased it. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, she made it and she put a tutorial up on her blog, which I probably won't follow because it doesn't have pattern pieces. You have to use a pattern from somewhere else. And I just, my brain doesn't really work like that. No. So I'll probably <laughs> find a pattern yeah. similar to it. Um, but you can see now that um, just like it's, you know, elbow length, mm -hmm. you know, a little seam line right underneath the bust, V-neck. It's very simple and straightforward, cute. but I think it's really, really cute. Um, so I'll probably get the plum colored suede from mm -hmm. Stylemaker Fabrics to make it out of because it's my favorite color. Um, I think it looks really good on me. It's something mm -hmm. different for suede. Um, so that's plan number one. Plan number one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I do have all my patterns, but I don't have any of my fabric in my hands yet, but it's on the way, like literally in the mail on the way to me <laughs> now. So I'm feeling pretty positive about mine too. My first one is I'm um, going to make the Cheyenne tunic um, mm -hmm. by Hey June Patterns. Um, it's just a, a placket front. Um, half placket, right? Half placket. Half placket front. Um, roll up sleeve mm -hmm. with the button tab. Really great for the Are you ball. Do the collar? No, I'm gonna do. I don't know. I don't think that one has a collar. I think it's just the um, Man band. Mandarin collar. Then is that what that's called? When it's just like a little short. Mm, doesn't stick up. It's just the band. So take away your collar. Yeah, that's yeah. a Mandarin. Okay. Yeah, learned something new today. <laughs> well, they all taught me that. We were discussing what that collar was called. Uh huh months ago and everyone in the comments was like it's oh, a mandarin collar thanks guy yeah <laughs> i think that's what y'all were talking about i hope yeah i don't okay. know yeah so anyways i'm gonna make that i'm gonna make it as a top i'm pretty sure but i also thought it'd be really cute lengthened into a dress 100 kind of percent yeah, yeah. what's the fabric like? side so the fabric is a rayon um denim dot oh not thick denim like a denim look denim like chambray yeah like a chambray uh -huh. rayon with little woven dots Oh, it is. Yeah, so that's what it's going to be. Mm -hmm, little okay. green dots, a nice mid medium denim blue uh -huh. color. So, really, really cute. excited about that. Yeah, you totally need to lengthen that to a dress. Do you think? I don't yeah. know if I bought enough fabric. Oh. I think you really only need, mm, what, like a third of a yard extra? For you that? have short. I would want it on the short side. When I am wearing something with tall boots, which is what I want to mm -hmm. wear it with, I want it to be a little You too like short. for some thigh to show. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I might have enough if I do. Yeah, yeah I think really that cute. would be adorable. Yeah, adorable. Good idea. Um, the next thing that I really want to make, and this is something I've wanted to make for a while now. Um, I've had the fabric since we went to New York last year. Mm -hmm. um, our friend Amber 
has done a very comprehensive study on um, like stretch fabrics for leggings mm -hmm. and helped me find this wonderful black ponte that would be good for leggings. Um, so I don't want like athletic type of leggings. Mm -hmm. I want leggings that are pants. Mm -hmm. I, I cover up my bum and my crotch whenever mm -hmm. I wear leggings so it's not really pants. Mm -hmm. But um, you know I want a really nice pair of leggings, something that you would expect to find you know at like black house white house black market mm -hmm. yeah, or sure you know almost like a pant mm -hmm. but legging so the ponte is really really nice um so yeah i do have one of the fabrics that's oh, good yeah. um but i don't have the pattern yet i think i'm going to use this mccall's pattern um that i saw on their website i'm just waiting for a sale mm -hmm. that's the only reason why i haven't gotten yeah. it yet yeah. but i like the the seaming lines that it has um, I just think that would make for, you know, a really cute pant style legging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Sounds like something I would like myself. Mm -hmm. um, so the next one I'm going to make is the new Tilly and the Buttons Rosa shirt and shirt dress. She just released this a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. um, but what I thought was cool about this is she's doing an online workshop. Mm -hmm. Now I've made quite a few shirt dresses with mm -hmm. collars myself. So, you know, I feel like I've got the skill to do mm -hmm. it but I feel like they could be better mm -hmm. like I feel like they're just I like them to be perfect and mm -hmm. they're just not as perfect as I want them to be mm -hmm. and so that's kind of how she advertised the class mm -hmm. like you're having trouble with like the little fiddly mm -hmm. bits of making a shirt dress and she just like she shows some pictures of you know attaching the facing and getting that really nice point so mm -hmm. I'm really excited about that the um, class starts October the 1st, so perfect timing for me to make the shirt dress. I'm really, truly, I'm going to follow the online workshop. I'm not going to skip ahead and try to do things. So I'm excited to maybe learn some new tricks and um, tips for sew sewing that kind of um, garment because I really like to wear it. Um, so it, this one's a little more fitted um, with some seaming, and I'm going to sew it out of this really cool-looking denim is a lightweight denim that's perfect for a shirt dress not something you would sew for pants but it's floral denim mm. yes yes so i'm really excited about that i have coming from hearts fabric mm -hmm. um and they had quite a few of these fabrics to choose from they had one that had smaller i like big prints i know you said you like mm -hmm. smaller prints so if you like smaller prints they had some smaller one that had some solid um so really some good options to make that shirt dress yeah i'm that's excited exciting. to share that with you guys definitely yeah. doing a video on that one Cute. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, so my next thing, um, okay, so, well, I just talked about White House Black Market. I must mm -hmm. have had that, sorry, there's like dog hair. <laughs> I must have had that in my head or something because I got an email from White House Black Market and in it they had this picture of this blazer and this particular blazer is made out of suede and so I already had suede on the brain too um, but I know that the suede that Stylemaker Fabrics has is not drapey enough for mm -hmm. this. So um, I do want to make a blazer that's this style where it's like open waterfall mm -hmm. front, um, mm -hmm. almost like that cardigan, what's it called? The Laurelhurst. The Laurelhurst cardigan, think, but out yeah. of a, a woven and shorter. Right. Um, so I don't know of a pattern that's like that. I haven't really looked though, to be honest. Um, I'm sure there is one, it's not very complicated. Mm -hmm. um, design or anything new right. <laughs> you know, to fashion. Right. And then as far as the fabrics go, I'm either going to try and find something here locally at Joann's or Michelle wrote me um, just today actually to say that she had gotten in a peach skin. And at mm -hmm. first I was like, peach skin? Oh, that's not what I'm going for. Mm -hmm. But she said it was a double layer peach skin. Mm -hmm. And she thought it would look really good for the blazer. The only thing is, is that it's a uh, gray mm -hmm. and gray can be kind of hit or miss. Yeah. It can be like kind of wash you out a little bit. Right. Um, so I want to see the gray before I commit to that. But I do definitely want to make this layering piece of yeah. this blazer that doesn't button up and it's more of just like That's a throw great. on. Yeah. 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 Fun. I hope you find everything. Because Thank you. I hope I find everything too. Yeah. <laughs> so for my last thing, I know I just went on um, in October favorites about French Terry. So what do you know? <laughs> I'm going to make something out of French Terry. <laughs> but I have a French Terry coming also from Hearts Fabric. They have a big selection of French Terry. It'd be kind of hard to find mm -hmm. a good French Terry, good quality. Stylemaker has a ton. Mm -hmm. um, Hearts has a bunch. Mm -hmm. 
Remember that place we ordered from on Etsy? Koshtex? Koshtex? I'm yeah. not quite sure exactly how to pronounce it. I'll put it in the box below. Uh -huh. They had a bunch of French terry. Uh -huh. um, so I've got a heathered gray French terry. Gray. Oh my gosh. French terry, yeah, I know. I think everything you've explained has gray in it. I love gray Denim, for gray. coziness. I don't know why it makes me feel... It makes me feel good. <laughs> so um, it's a French terry. Until I feel it, I haven't decided if it's going to be a Laurel for Scarlet, okay. which we just talked about. I really love that pattern, and I like it best out of a thicker knit. Mm -hmm. um, so it might be that if it's the right weight. If not, I'd probably just make a pair of huts and sweatpants. Mm -hmm. I've made quite a few of those, and I'm into that whole athleisure yes. wear. Yes, we Athle discussed. Is that how I say it again? Athleisure. Athleisure. No, you don't have to say wear afterwards? No. Okay. Athleisure. It's like athletic wear and leisure lounge okay. wear mixed together. At leisure. Mm -hmm. So I thought that they'd be really good to go with those white sneakers I just bought mm -hmm. if I decide to do that. So we'll see. But either of the two I'm pretty set on. Well then if you do that, going back to this video that we're talking about, mm -hmm. um, you can't do the dots, the French cherry dots, Hudson pants. And why not? Because they're you have gray every day of my life. You need to have gray two pairs probably right. more. Do you have gray now? Already? I don't have gray now. Ha -ha. You're so proud of yourself. I am really proud. I've got a charcoal, but it doesn't count. It's like oh really, my god, that's it's totally dark. Gray. It's really, really, really dark gray, like almost black. It's like super charcoal. <laughs> so things are super light gray. But seriously, the first thing when I do, I do when I walk in the door after loving all over Piper, who is down here right now, <laughs> is I change into comfy clothes. Yeah. So I put on sweatpants as soon as I walk in the door. Okay. So there I can have lots of pairs of sweatpants. Oh, I was trying to help you figure out what to do with the dots, but I guess. It doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just will probably buy more. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Anyways, that's it, right? You yeah. shared all your three? Yeah. So that's our plans for October. I think we're going to be a little more successful this month. I'll yeah. get all three. I'm definitely getting all three. Um, we'll see if Lindsay maybe at least gets one or two. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we'd love to know if you've got some great plans for October sewing. Yeah. Um, October is probably my second favorite month. So I'd love to hear what you guys What's like. What's your most favorite? May, remember? Oh, sorry. Oh Birthday month. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so I hope you love this video. If you did, of course, give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you never miss a new video. You can follow us inside the ham on all social media. Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll That's see you guys it. next time. Bye. Bye.